Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar with Alex Varlamanov. My name is Sophie Sparks. I'm the community manager here at the Information Lab, and it is absolutely fantastic to have you join us today. And it's, I'm so excited to have Alex give us a talk today on linear regression in Tableau. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with um, Alex's amazing work in Tableau. He is a Tableau Zen master and lead developer at Playrix. He has a PhD in physics and math, which is why he is one of the reasons why he is so amazing um, producing things like linear regression charts in Tableau. Um, and he uses Tableau every day. We just had a, a tech check before this, and he told me he hasn't used anything else other than Tableau to do a presentation in for over two years. So he actually uses Tableau for everything, not just says he does. So it's um, Alex is joining us from Russia, so for him it's a bit later on in the afternoon than it is for me. Um, so I'm going to ask Alex if you can unmute yourself and take over the screen share and um, get started when you're ready. Now everyone, just as Alex unmutes himself and takes over the screen share, if you do have any questions for Alex, thank you Alex, I can see your video there, or if you'd like to um, just say hi, please drop it into the chat box or the Q&A box and Alex will be able to answer those questions for you at the end of his presentation. So thank you so much, Alex. I will stop sharing my screen and please start. Okay, thank you very much, Sophie. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, now I'm sharing my screen. Uh, uh, I believe for you, uh, you can see uh, my screen now. Yep, and... I can see your screen. Oh, nice. Uh, so my today's topic uh, is a linear uh, regression in Tableau. Uh, <clears throat> today, um, I'm going to explain uh, what is linear regression and how to calculate um, linear re regression parameters uh, in Tableau. So. Um, my presentation uh, will be shown in Tableau, uh, and uh, I'm planning to explain <clears throat> now uh, what uh, linear regression uh, is. Uh, I believe uh, you, uh, everybody um, have a seen chart like this. Uh, this is a Euro, um, the United States dollars uh, exchange rate uh, uh, over time. And in Tableau, uh, on uh, the analytics panel, uh, you can um, put a uh, trend line like this and uh, uh, drag and drop to uh, a linear. Uh, so we have a, a line uh, that refl uh, reflects um, a trend of euro dollar. So uh, here uh, I have uh, a heavy filter. Um, we can change the date. Uh, so this uh, uh, line is changing too. And uh, for, um, I bet that not all people in Asian Tableau uh, first time uh, know uh, what means um, uh, numbers in the tooltip. Uh, so we uh, can see rate, R squared, and uh, p-value. And uh, mm, now I'm going to explain uh, what the, uh, does it mean and how to calculate it in Tableau. Uh, essentially, this topic uh, came uh, from uh, a local chat when uh, somebody asked uh, a question how to calculate variances between uh, this point and uh, this line. Uh, uh, it was a hard uh, question for people because uh, Tableau uh, used something algorithm to create this line. And uh, I uh, tried to calculate, um, to, to find um, uh, an equation for uh, the line. So uh, today I'm going to um, show how, to, uh, how um, you can find uh, this uh, coefficients uh, and my uh, um, next slide uh, will be this. So uh, uh, what I'm gonna, um, I'm going to uh, calculate. 
uh, we have uh, data on x, uh, x axis and on uh, y axis uh, we have uh, exchange rate here is uh, exchange rate here is date uh, to um, make it easy uh, we should convert uh, this date to uh, two numbers and I uh, use this formula uh, when we calculate the differences between uh, minimum date and uh, current current date so uh, this curly brackets means that it's fixed um, value and uh, on the next slide uh, we have um, the same uh, charts but uh, in uh, one chart we use date and a second chart we use um, x axis uh, it's um, um, similar line uh, but if we uh, check uh, this rate and this uh, coefficient uh, 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 th this coefficient is the same on the second uh, um, regression line uh, because the slope of uh, this line is the same so uh, what um, uh, what uh, means um, linear regression? Regression. If you have uh, points uh, like this, for example, and you can uh, find uh, a trend. Uh, you um, can use um, approximation uh, using, uh, for example, uh, least squares. Uh, uh, and uh, least squares means that we Mm, uh, we can uh, find uh, an equation uh, for uh, uh, regression. Uh, here is um, uh, total view of uh, regression, equation of regression with uh, uh, A and B as a coefficient, uh, and A is a slope, and B uh, is a y intercept. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can find uh, this coefficient inside Tableau using um, native calculation in Tableau. And the least squares based on minimizing uh, the sum of squares uh, of, of the residuals. Um, uh, and the, uh, here is the system of uh, equation. In our case, uh, we already have X and uh, already have Y. Uh, we should find A and uh, B. So uh, that means uh, we should find A uh, slope and Y uh, intercept. On my uh, next slide, I will show uh, how I uh, have find uh, this coefficient. Um, so uh, if we have the system of equations, uh, uh, we uh, can use Kramer, uh, Kramer's rule uh, using um, denominator, uh, sorry, uh, using um, uh, a, mat a matrix, uh, a determinant of uh, a matrix. Uh, and so here um, I calculated uh, this the uh, delta delta a delta b uh, uh, which is here is delta a uh, here is delta uh, this one is delta b and this is uh, delta so i found um, um, uh, a and b for a and uh, b here is uh, for a it means slope and uh, this is uh, for uh, B is uh, Y uh, intercept. Uh, in Tableau, uh, the, uh, this calculation looks like delta A uh, divided into um, delta B and uh, coefficient B, Y intercept, looks like delta B um, divided into um, delta. So uh, um, uh, the final equation of the regression line uh, in my workbook is uh, the field Y regression. It looks like this. So I can now check it. 
uh, and y uh, regression here. Uh, this is uh, equation of uh, regression line. Uh, I have uh, fixed coefficient uh, a and fixed coefficient b. Uh, so if we put a regression line uh, here on, uh, on the row shelf, uh, we can see that uh, if we um, make uh, dual axis, uh, um, we can see uh, this is a regression line and this one uh, is um, a regression line or, or trend line that we uh, get from analytics from this panel. Uh, we can check that uh, this uh, equation for this uh, and for uh, calculated uh, line is the same. So we found, uh, that means uh, we uh, found um, coefficients A and B. Uh, we can check, uh, for example, so, um, how to looks A here. Here, uh, here is A. And uh, uh, is the same uh, coefficient as uh, um, coefficient of, of um, uh, regression line uh, here. Uh, so we found um, the uh, equation uh, for a regression line. Uh, uh, what next? Uh, the next step uh, will be um, uh, in next step. Uh, I try try to uh, find um, variances. So that means distance um, between this point and this point for uh, every um, point. Uh, here I have the calculation variances. And variances mean, uh, in my case, uh, is um, I made the union uh, and using uh, ta uh, table name uh, for start of, of uh, this um, line uh, and uh, another table in union for the end of this line. Uh, and variances uh, is the distances uh, that sh uh, that shown on uh, the orange color. So uh, we um, have calculated distances, and we have visual visualized uh, distances here. Uh, if you look at this chart, we can see uh, that we can see uh, these gaps. Uh, of um, exchange rate. That means uh, there are uh, weekends and holidays uh, on um, exchanges uh, when uh, there's no tra trades. Uh, so um, there's no data in these cases. Uh, but if we look uh, the, uh, this, um, uh, at this chart, uh, uh, excluding uh, variances, uh, uh, it's uh, hard to understand uh, where we have no data. And uh, these lines helps us uh, to find um, correct um, position when we have data in our data set. Uh, uh, I, I just uh, notice, uh, I, I'd like to notice that we use context filter for date. Uh, if we remove it from uh, context, so we will have a picture like this. 
uh, because uh, we use um, fixed um, calculations, uh, fixed functions for uh, calculate uh, distances. Um, that means we need put it uh, to the context to um, find the right position of uh, of the uh, regression line. Uh, it's uh, so we uh, have calculated um, um, uh, variances in this case. Uh, on the next slide, I um, uh, put color. Uh, that means uh, average rate uh, minus y regression here, and uh, we have um, positive uh, slope. And if we, for example, change uh, uh, this, uh, we can see that our uh, trend uh, is changing. Uh, also, uh, I used a parameter to choose uh, another type of charts uh, with dot, uh, a, a bit dot, a bit dashed line. It, it's uh, this line um, was made in Tableau uh, using uh, data points. Uh, that means uh, we uh, can sh uh, show uh, another uh, different uh, type uh, of charts. Um, I believe uh, it looks um, better um, than just simple chart like this. Um, and the next step, uh, I I'd like to share how to cal calculate other uh, regression parameters. Uh, for other regression parameters, we have um, covariance, uh, which is me measure of the joint var variability of two uh, variables. Uh, this one is, um, uh, is the uh, formula or equation. And I took this formula and uh, found a calculation uh, for Tableau like this. Uh, this uh, X and this Y is, um, are uh, means, uh, mean values for X and Y. Uh, we used fixed for calculated, uh, this uh, fixed average values for uh, calcula calculating. And uh, for um, covariance, uh, the total formula look like this. Uh, uh, where uh, we have uh, n, uh, that means number of uh, repetition x um, and y in our uh, data set. So uh, this one is um, covariances. Uh, in Tableau, uh, we have um, a function, function uh, covariances like uh, this uh, and I uh, to I, uh, I I've already uh, made uh, this calculation for that function uh, function co uh, cover uh, the next um, parameter of the uh, linear re regression is a Pearson correlation coefficient. Uh, I believe was Pearson uh, coefficient or uh, or just uh, Pearson is probably the best known measure uh, for assessing the uh, magnitude of linear uh, correlation. Uh, and uh, this is a formula for the Pearson correlation uh, coefficient. Um, we uh, already have mean X and mean Y. Uh, and for Pearson correlation uh, coefficient, I used uh, this formula. Uh, that's the same um, like this formula. Uh, and in Tableau, uh, it looks correct. And this is a Pearson coefficient. Uh, for example, this one uh, is a chart 
uh, where I calculated uh, Pearson correlation coefficient uh, using uh, three type of formulas uh, here in uh, two tips. It's a uh, Pearson that I have, uh, have calculated here, uh, this formula, uh, formula. Uh, the next formula is a Pearson correlation coefficient is, is the um, tableau function uh, between the um, Pearson correlation coefficient um, between X and Y, which is rate, exchange rate in our case. And uh, the last formula uh, is the wind of correlation uh, um, formula. Uh, and uh, there are the same results. Uh, you can uh, check it uh, on, uh, on the tooltip. Uh, so that means uh, uh, we can uh, find a Pearson correlation uh, co coefficient using two different uh, methods uh, in Tableau. It, it, and it will be the same um, value of the Pearson correlation coefficient. Uh, the next um, parameter of linear regression is the coefficient of uh, determination or R squared. Uh, this uh, this uh, parameter uh, was shown on uh, the two tip of the regression line here, R squared. Uh, and um, if we look at this, um, picture um, here we have um, uh, residual um, squares and total squares uh, and a coefficient of uh, determination uh, to calculate uh, this coefficient and I use these formulas uh, and uh, this uh, this is a total uh, formulas now here is the residual sum of squares this one and that one is total sum of squares uh, and uh, in the end, uh, we will have uh, this formula uh, that reflects uh, reflects uh, this formula for uh, R squared. Uh, uh, so we um, calculated uh, R squared in our uh, case. Uh, then um, we, uh, we can. Um, this is the final visualization. Uh, I put uh, all um, parameters here, uh, covariance, uh, covariance uh, Pearson co correlation coefficient and R squared here. And uh, also I put um, uh, regression uh, function here, re regression um, e equation uh, with uh, coefficients A, A and B. Uh, here uh, we can change the data and our uh, coefficients uh, uh, are changing too. Uh, so this one um, uh, also uh, we can um, play uh, with uh, other type of um, charts like dot uh, charts and linear charts with with the line and um, just just variances and uh, a linear chart uh, plus uh, trend line uh, and etc so uh, it's uh, nice uh, to understand how to uh, calculate uh, regression parameter and and how tableau calculates uh, this uh, parameter inside uh, in, inside Tableau. Mm. Uh, what else? Uh, if you look at uh, these um, parameters, uh, uh, I believe uh, like, uh, any um, common people um, has no idea what, what does it mean, uh, what means uh, Pearson, R squared, and, and covariances. And uh, my next step uh, was to understand uh, or to uh, make um, uh, qualitative, uh, qualitative um, scale uh, 
uh, having Pearson, for example, a coefficient. Uh, there are uh, Chedok scale. Uh, it's one um, man. Uh, uh, Chedok uh, is the, I believe, is sci a scientist, to uh, which is um, made up uh, the scale. Uh, uh, actually, a Pearson um, correlation coefficient. Uh, has a range uh, from minus one to uh, plus one. Uh, and if we have minus uh, one, we have very high, high, um, high and negative correlation. Uh, 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 and uh, if we have plus one, uh, we have very high uh, positive correlation. Uh, when uh, the Pearson coefficient is to zero, there are no uh, correlation, correlation between two uh, values uh, to uh, to measure measures. So how to make uh, this um, scale? Uh, if we uh, make it on full screen, and for example change uh, the pe period, change the range, uh, we can find here that the Pearson uh, correla correlation coefficient uh, is decreasing and it's decreasing like this. So we have a moderate uh, positive correlation. So I um, added to my um, uh, workbook uh, additional data uh, to make uh, the, uh, this CHEDEX scale. It's a simple, actually it's simple data, uh, which look like this, um, where, um, there are um, ranges uh, uh, with um, interpretation of uh, these ranges. Uh, in Tableau, I made uh, uh, this scale, which look like this. It's a Gantt chart. It's, I believe it's simple. Um, uh, and uh, this one is uh, the Chedex scale to uh, better underst understanding uh, of our uh, of um, the power of uh, correlation between two uh, measures. Uh, then I uh, put uh, this uh, here on, on this chart, and uh, now I believe it's much uh, better to uh, find uh, which kind of co correlation we have on on this case. Now we have 0 0.76 uh, Pearson um, correlation um, coefficient uh, is the high positive correlation. And also we can find uh, um, uh, negative correlation somewhere. This one, uh, this is negative. Uh, correlation, uh, which we have a negative slope. And uh, oh, have my trend line. Uh, there are no enough space for this formula. But okay. Um, I uh, have shown um, how to uh, translate uh, numeric uh, or uh, Quantit quantitative uh, values to um, qualitative um, scale, uh, let's say. Uh, and uh, what uh, what else? Uh, actually, um, we uh, we have found um, some. Um, some parameters of uh, regression using um, uh, internal Tableau uh, functions. And uh, we uh, found um, uh, the um, regression line here. And uh, for me personally, when I uh, calculate uh, this, uh, uh, I understood that uh, uh, now I know how Tableau calculates. It, uh, it's, uh, it, it was a challenge 
to find uh, these numbers, uh, but uh, it's actually interesting how it works. Uh, concerning uh, regression, uh, it's uh, uh, Tableau provide uh, Tableau provides uh, also uh, exponential regression or uh, polynomial uh, regression. Uh, and uh, also there are um, confident uh, intervals. I, um, I didn't uh, calculate uh, confident intervals because uh, it limits by curves, not by lines in linear uh, regression. And it, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, harder to uh, visualize the confidence intervals uh, using um, limited points uh, of uh, mm, uh, of data here on on the chart but now uh, I believe um, so we can hide for example correlation scale here and uh, explore our chart uh, I finished it, uh, my first uh, part of my presentation and Next part, oh, it's, it's, it's much bigger, it's bigger uh, like this. Um, uh, the next part, uh, I'm, I plan to show uh, regression in groups, let me say, uh, regression in groups, uh, having uh, a Euro USD rate, we have uh, only one uh, measure here uh, and only one uh, groups uh, only uh, we have no uh, group uh, because uh, we have only one chart here uh, and it's uh, maybe a common case uh, but in a complex uh, case uh, I explored uh, the cases with uh, groups and what does it mean uh, I found uh, this is uh, the second uh, visualization uh, where um, that uh, names uh, cinema pat patterns, uh, uh, the data from uh, this dat uh, data set uh, I found on Kaggle. Um, there are uh, budget of uh, films. Uh, they um, uh, uh, this da data uh, has uh, ratings. Uh, 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 two types of uh, ratings and uh, profit, uh, revenue, and runtime of, of films. Uh, initially, uh, linear re regression uh, explore um, uh, uh, say, uh, with uh, the force uh, between uh, two measures. In our measures, uh, we, we can choose, for example, budget and profit or budget uh, and uh, TMDB uh, rating. Uh, and uh, um, I, I made uh, some um, data cleansing and uh, data transforming to make this uh, uh, data set and uh, to explore um, the correlation in, in a group uh, we can group uh, uh, this fi uh, the films by gender, uh, by original language, by production company, by year uh, release, or uh, mm, big, uh, we also uh, use only uh, one group for uh, all mm, uh, films. Uh, this is a scatter plot uh, where uh, um, a one uh, dot is a um, mm, one movie uh, and uh, one uh, genre. Uh, genre. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, the current, currently um, uh, on the um, X axis, we use budget in dollars uh, and on Y axis, we use TMDB rating. Uh, which is uh, the uh, range of this rating from uh, zero to 
10. Uh, and uh, here we can find some uh, patterns, for example, for action uh, films, we can filter it using a legend. So this one is a um, regression line for action and we uh, can compare uh, this one, for example, with, uh, with Western. Uh, in case of Western, uh, this, uh, uh, the Western uh, is shown uh, using uh, violet color uh, and uh, there are um, negative regression line. That means uh, uh, when uh, the budget is more, the, the TMDB rating is less for Westerns. Uh, and uh, for actions, the more um, rating, uh, the, the, mo the, the more budget, the more rating. Uh, uh, um, I believe everybody knows these films, the Avenger, uh, Dark Knight, C Captain America. And uh, here I um, calculated uh, variances here. Uh, uh, almost all Marvel films uh, are uh, over this regression line. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting actually. Uh, so uh, 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 this is the uh, dashboard. When we can compare two groups uh, by genre. Also we can uh, choose uh, another Uh, in other groups, uh, for example, uh, uh, original language. If you use original language, uh, there are Chinese, uh, Danish, English, uh, films, French, German, and, uh, and etc. Uh, we also use uh, another uh, metrics, for uh, example, budget and revenue. To find uh, here is the uh, budget and revenues, uh, and also we can use profit. It's so uh, it's much uh, interesting to uh, have um, uh, a film uh, uh, that's uh, with a huge uh, profit, and uh, uh, on the uh, and, and here. Um, under the zero uh, line, uh, we have uh, not so um, good um, uh, uh, films, I mean uh, profit, because uh, there's minus 61 million profit for, for movie sphere. Uh, uh, and, and in this dashboard, I, I used um, a Chedex scale too. Here is a Chedex scale and here is a group. Uh, of each group of French movies, so Chinese movies, and uh, Danish movies. Uh, for German movies, we have a negative uh, correlation, budget uh, versus profit. Uh, and using uh, this uh, chart, uh, we um, I use the same logic uh, like in linear regression, but I use um, Y uh, regression here. It's like, sorry, it's like uh, this. Uh, uh, you can uh, see that uh, there are aggregation field um, here in fixed. That means uh, we put a group here and uh, aggregation field in my case is, so aggregation field in my case, uh, um, is the um, this calculation uh, where I'm, uh, when I use uh, the different fields to group uh, movies by production company by year of release and uh, this aggregation field I put uh, into detail into color uh, and every time we um, we change um, aggregation parameter. Uh, oh, oh, oh. We uh, 
we choose uh, other groups here for for here it, it's uh, it's hard to, to tab for tableau to uh, show all points but it's not problem we can choose uh, general uh, this is aggregation parameter aggregation parameter uh, which I uh, use for choosing uh, aggregation uh, group. Uh, this one is, sorry. So uh, this one is a final uh, viz. Uh, and uh, on this viz, uh, you can explore uh, patterns, uh, you can explore um, trends uh, using uh, uh, approximation using regression line. Uh, for me, uh, it's uh, it was interesting to uh, find some films or to change the group to analyze uh, films in any group. It's actually an uh, interesting point. Also, we can show the filter to uh, um, expand, expand uh, this chart. Uh, what else? In uh, in the end, in the end, I would like to um, say uh, that uh, if uh, everybody have a problem, uh, you can help uh, uh, this uh, to answer, and you can find a new challenge for yourself. To, uh, for, to explore data, to um, find uh, new, um, new ways uh, to, to develop uh, yourself. Uh, it's actually interesting uh, to explore uh, uh, the, the thing like uh, this. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have a blog uh, here at schoolbluedata.com and uh, I've, uh, I wrote a, a couple of uh, blog posts uh, where I uh, described uh, everything uh, I calculated uh, in, in regression, how to calculate uh, if uh, uh, maybe uh, my today's speech uh, was is not so clear and if you'd like to dive into uh, formulas, uh, you can check this blog and read my, my blog posts. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Alex, for um, giving that fantastic presentation of, of how to do linear regression in Tableau. I've linked to the uh, your blog, but I will just quickly now drop in the links to the two specific blogs you mentioned, um, the linear regression part one and linear regression part two. So I'll just drop those into the chat box now. I've also linked to the two visualizations you um, showed, the monetary one and also the cinema patterns viz, so on your Tableau public profile page. So if people do want more information around those two um, visualizations or to go over anything you showed in your presentation today, please grab those links from the chat box now. Um, if anyone does have any extra questions for Alex, please drop them into the chat box um, in the next few minutes so he can answer them for you. I mentioned a little earlier um, in the chat, but this um, session is being recorded and I will post it up on the Information Labs YouTube channel and send out a link to everyone um, to, the, to the video most likely tomorrow afternoon, um, my time. I'm based in the UK. And so if you missed anything um, in Alex's presentation, or if you'd like to pause, because he did show um, a lot of those calculations, if you want to pause and have a look at them again, you can see that on the, um, the recorded uh, recording. So last chance, if anyone has any questions for Alex, please type them into the chat box or the Q&A so we can answer them for you. Um, in the meantime, Alex, oh, we've got one question in there from Matt. Can you explain the reference to sheet one? 
I mean, this one, there's a new feature I've missed. Uh, okay, I will share a screen one. Uh, the reference to sheet one, okay. Uh, this one, uh, I'm not sure I understood the uh, question. Uh, you mean um, how, how to make a trend line like this? References, reference to sheet one, but perhaps a new feature I've missed. It. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I understood uh, clearly the question, but uh, I believe you um, met asked me about analytics panel and how to uh, drag and drop um, trend line here. Uh, you can put a trend line and uh, put it uh, to linear icon here, and you will have uh, the regression line. Mm, maybe uh, I, uh, I answered, <laughs> I don't know. Matt, if that hasn't quite, if um, Alex hasn't quite answered your question there, I've also put in um, ways you could contact Alex on Twitter and LinkedIn. So if you do have any extra questions, you can maybe reach out to him afterwards. Um, yep. So uh, yeah, the link to the recording will go out. So I'll, I'll email everyone who's RSVP to this webinar um, with a link to recording. Um, and just before we sign off, Alex, are you giving any talks or are you um, going to be present at Tableau Conference, which is coming up in just over a month's time? Uh, uh, actually, no, but uh, usually I uh, participate in Russian-speaking uh, Tableau community. And uh, concerning my um, English, it's not so <laughs> good, I believe, no, I think. Uh, and so... Uh, uh, I have no uh, speech at uh, Tableau conferences, but I will um, particip participate uh, in uh, in a small uh, group in a, uh, in data. I forgot uh, how, how it named in the previous uh, conferences uh, um, with with small group uh, chat chat with small groups. Uh, maybe you. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe you remember this, uh, um, uh, uh, Sophie. Maybe you remember how to um, the name of um, conversation in a small group uh, at the Brand dates? Are you talking about? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Brand dates. Uh, I will. Uh, I will be participate participating in brand dates. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. So people can look for you um, at Brain Dates as well at Tableau Conference. Um, Matt, I see, has just clarified his question in the chat. So um, that might be a bit more helpful. Is uh, your filter has a calc labeled table name sheet one that is referencing sheet one, thus order of operations. Is there um, ever a case to use include? So Alex, that might ah, be a bit more I, of a. I, I understood. My, uh, Matt, okay. Uh, uh, this filter, Matt uh, asked me about this filter. This filter uh, used uh, to a uh, table in my um, uh, data source here. Uh, so uh, I uh, put two of uh, the same table in, in the union uh, for uh, for showing uh, 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 this variances uh, line, that's my variances line here. Uh, for this, uh, we need uh, to table uh, to create start point and end point. That's the reason why I use um, union uh, with the two table and I uh, use table name here is an, uh, in path. So uh, then I um, get this line. The concerning sheet two, uh, I, I don't need uh, table two here. And if we put table here too, um, we will get uh, other numbers, but uh, we can make average rate here. Um, uh, I have uh, already published uh, the workbook on my Tableau, uh, Tableau public uh, profile. You can download it. Thank you very much. 
Perfect. Thank you so much, Alex, for um, answering those, those questions. And Matt, I've also posted the links to the two workbooks on Alex's Tableau public profile further up in the chat. So um, you can go in and grab them uh, there or just uh, Google Alex Tableau public, Alex Valman of Tableau public, and you'll be able to get a link to his profile there. So thank you so much, Alex, for joining us today. And thank you so much for a great talk. I know you've said a few times that uh, you're not so confident speaking in English, but you did a fantastic job. So thank you so much for showing us how to do linear regression today. And everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I hope for me, you have a, and Alex, you have a lovely rest of your afternoon or a good morning if you're joining us from America or Canada. Um, so thank you so much and keep your eyes peeled for the link to this recording, which I'll send everyone out tomorrow. Thank you, Alex, for giving us that talk and thank you everyone for joining. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks.